Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is Five Fast Knife Reviews. This is the Boker Gulo Plus. Now, Boker Plus knives, in my opinion, they're the better uh, Boker knives, at least for the overseas built ones. Now, this one is extremely impressive, and I am not a big Boker fan. I'm not whatsoever, but I can call out a good knife when I see it. This is an excellent, excellent knife. I would have thought this was titanium, but it is not. It is stainless steel, which kind of does bring it down a peg or two, right? D2 steel, which, I, um, you know, for the price, uh, you know, it, I would rather have a little bit better steel, but it's really not that bad as long as it's not done bad in heat treat, you know, with a good heat treat. D2 is phenomenal with a good heat treat. Now, this one... You know, seems to be relatively okay. It's not bad. So, you know, it's at least in the decent category. But the action and just the feeling of this knife, it's so refined. It feels like a high-end knife. The the flipper tip or the sorry, the thumb stud, you see how it's uh placed. It is a little bit proud of the scale, but this little jump they have right there bites your finger really good works really good for thumb deployment or slow rolling the lock up very very well done and from here to lock up it feels like it almost sucks it in when you unlock it the lock bar has really good or decent access i mean it's easy to access and if you know it's not bad and the drop is really really smooth now, another thing I really like about this knife, aside from the action, because the action is, it's great. It is really good. Um, it doesn't have uh, another thumb stud on the other side. That is, you know, a little bit of a downfall because I'd like to be able to reverse flick it, but it's okay. But this sharpening choil, that is how a sharpening choil is done. You see what they did with the plunge grind? The plunge grind goes straight down to the blade from this thick point to right there just drop straight down so they give you all of this to sharpen out i love that not a deep carry clip but the clip works just fine it just it does leave um a bit hanging out of the pocket it gives you a lanyard hole and yeah i really like this knife and if you're left-handed even though it doesn't have a reversible clip or nothing it's easy to spidey flick the the thumb stud the ergos really really good the geometry it's not the a slicer's dream but it works it's a great cutter decent cutter um nice uh you know thick blade stock it's not like beastly but decently thick blade stock decently thin behind the edge it is a good cutter and yeah just a great knife it's a great edc knife now it's not going to be your like i said your um your major slicer or anything but damn it if it ain't just a good quality knife i this is like i said this is one of the better bokers i've tried next this is the best tech fin now i i don't have a lot of good things to say about this i i'm not very impressed with this knife i do so i'm just going to start off with the negatives before i get to the positives um so the negatives is and, you know, I do understand that this knife isn't made to be, you know, a regular EDC knife, but the grind starts in the middle of the blade. So from this thickest point to the edge is the geometry you get. You only have from here to here because from here to here, you know, it just mirrors this side. So when you're cutting, you only have right there to be the geometry of the blade. So that winds up making it not be a very good cutter or slicer. Now, you could argue this isn't a slicing knife. Okay, the, the, the tip, you know, for utility cuts will be just fine. So if you're only using it for opening things up and self-defense, then this might be a knife for you because that's what it's going to be good at. It's going to be a good self-defense knife slash a good opening things up knife now the next thing i don't like is i don't like the plunge grind they they made it drop right to the edge you can see where i sharpened it uh it hits the plunge grind right there and makes it look wonky it's just the way it is when they do plunge grinds like that the action is good um best tech does do pretty good action 
Very smooth on its ceramic bearings. The G10 looks cool. No complaints with that. The lock bar is easy to access. Nice and comfortable. The flipper tab's comfortable. Detents crisp. Going to the Ergos though, not the best Ergos. It has this teardrop thing where it goes from thicker to thinner, which is not an issue. But this clip, look at how proud it is. So when it's in hand, all I feel is clip. So it's not comfortable in my hand personally. So you know, yeah, the clip works good in and out of the pocket, but man, is it uncomfortable in the hand. So just not my style of EDC knife. Next, the Real Steel Cut Jack. Now they made this in a couple different options. They did make a uh, G10 and M390 version. This one's the D2 and FRN version. It is not on bearings, it is on washers, but for a washer knife, the action's actually pretty good. You don't expect it to be drop shutty or anything, but the action's pretty good with the flipper tab. Now, the ergos are really nice on this knife. You can choke up, you got a nice good uh, choil there, and also acts as a good sharpening choil, good leverage behind your cuts, whether the push cuts, or even if you hold back here, because it has this, um, where it goes from thinner to thicker, your pinky and your, I should say your two middle fingers, get a good strong grip around it, but I do prefer this grip. Great blade shape, drop point blade shape, decent geometry, it does cut relatively well. The FRN I'm not a big fan of, I, I don't really like FRN, but this is not an expensive knife. So the clip works great in and out of the pocket. Not deep carry though. It is just a regular spring clip. Now, going back to the action, my one complaint is, man, I find myself skipping off of this because they put the jimping right here for a push button, but the push button isn't very good. So it likes to be light switched in my opinion, but then they made that area slick. But so sometimes you feel like you want a push button and you can, but I skip off of it sometimes and it can be painful. So I try to just light switch it. The jimping works really good back here. You have a nice little pinch grip and it does have a, you know, quite a bit of belly for your slicing tasks, but Good knife though, solid knife. That's the thing is it's just a knife. This is a work knife, a tool, and I can respect that. It's not trying to be anything beautiful or anything great. It's just trying to be a good work knife. I'm not good with it left-handed though, because you do have to kind of build that detent up since it is on washers. Um, this one is relatively new. It will smoothen out. Um, I think they came out with versions on bearings, though. Um, I'm not positive about that. Look into that if you're if you're really interested in this knife, because on bearings, this thing would have amazing action. And I'm not saying it has bad action, but it could be better. The liner's easy to get to. So before a work knife, just a tool, great knife. Next, the Williamson Copenhagen Red E knife, D2 access lock, very fidgety. Um, it does, you do have to use this choil because back here it's just a three finger knife otherwise, but with this generous choil, very nice. It does slice relative, pretty decent. Um, the action on it's really good, but you do have this little hiccup right here where you, when you reverse flick it or, or even thumb flick it, you have to get around this corner. So, it, you know, once you when, when you first take it out of the box, it's a little funny because you're like, man, I'm hitting this corner. But once you figure it out, very easy. And it has some amazing acoustics. It just has kind of a chain link sound to it. It is on bearings with this access lock, which a lot of knives are not on bearings when you mix an access lock. Um, G10, or I think this is G10. I'm pretty sure it's G10, but we got stainless steel construction all the way around, so it does have a pretty strong build. The lockup is pretty solid. I do get eh, a little tiny bit of movement, but since it's an access lock, I'm not really worried about it. Um, because access locks are very, very strong. Deep carry clip. 
that does go very, very deep and it is reversible, which is awesome because an access lock is nice for both lefties and righties. So ambidextrous knife, great sounding knife, um, pretty comfortable in the hand. I do feel the clip a little bit, but for the most part, it's a great EDC knife. I do have a full review on this, just like some of the other knives. The only one I don't have a full review on is that Boker, I believe, I believe. Next, we got the Bushmaster Bushcraft Carbon Steel Field Knife. Now, this is a slip joint, and it does not have a stop, so you just go all the way open. It does have a pretty strong pull on it, but it's still easy to pull out. A nice assertive snap to it when it's all the way open, and this is a carbon steel blade. I actually got this from Big Red EDC. Shout out to Big Red. So, Definitely check his channel out. Big Red EDC is awesome. And this knife with the carbon steel blade, um, I prefer, in my opinion, you shouldn't sharpen carbon steel blades with diamonds. You want to do it with natural stones, natural stones or aluminum oxide stones. You'll get the best, keenest edge. And in that case, you can get a very, very keen edge with it. Um, you can patina these very easily. So you do want to, if you don't like patina, you want to take care of a carbon blade. But the handles on this one, very soft. This is a knife you could use um, all day and it never, and it'll never be uncomfortable. It's so soft and rounded. It's very, very comfortable. The geometry is really nice, so it's going to cut really good. And yeah, this is something you could take camping and have, you know, to whittle, to, to basically do whatever. I mean, it, it's a cool little knife. And you know, you can do a lot with this. It's only like 10 bucks. You can whittle, or not whittle, but uh, dremel the handles or whittle them. You can uh, you can put a coating on it. You can um, patina the blade. Uh, you can do a lot with these to, to make it your own if you really want it. And, you know, it's you're not going to spend much money. But it's a great little knife that can be very useful, like I said, camping, fishing, uh, in a tackle box, um, just around the house, whatever. I mean, like I said, it's so comfortable that, you know, you don't mind using it. And, you know, yeah, it's not going to be a hard use knife or anything, but a very cool little knife. And there you guys go. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.